Masters HQ, the Aussie Throwdown, and the Australian Functional Fitness Federation, test number five is a gymnastics endurance test. Four time, 200 air squats, 90 ring rows, 80 sit-ups, 100 air squats, 45 pull-ups, and 40 toes to bar. There is a 19 minute cap on this workout. The air squat begins with the athlete standing in full extension. The hip crease must go below the top of the knee at the bottom of the squat. The squat starts at the top position and finishes at the top position. The rep is complete when the athlete's hips and knees are fully extended. In the ring row, the rings must be set at the bottom of the ring in line with the belly button. Hips, knees, ankles must remain in a straight line. No bend or no kip is allowed. The feet must be positioned with the heels only on a line under the vertical plane of the rings. At the bottom of the movement, the arms must be fully extended. At the top, the rings must touch the chest with the elbows behind the shoulder in the top position. In the ab mat sit up, the athlete must touch the floor above their head at the bottom of the sit up. The hands must touch the ground behind the head, not next to the ears. Athletes must then touch the toes, reaching between the thighs, butterfly style. Failing to touch either of these points would be a no rep. In the pull up, a dead hang, kipping, or butterfly pull up is allowed, as long as all requirements are met. Arms must be fully extended at the bottom. At the top, the chin must break the horizontal plane of the butt. In the toes to bar, the athlete must go from a full hang to having the toes touch the pull-up bar. Both feet must touch the bar together inside the hands. The arms and hips must be fully extended at the bottom and the feet must be brought back behind the line of the bar, not left out in front. The score for this workout is time. If the athlete does not complete the test within the set time, the score is cap plus reps completed. Athletes must take a tie break after the 100 air squats are complete. Good luck.